What's up guys? It's Daz here. But you don't really care, because I think it's about time to check out the vault. Now that we have pretty much everything done. So, let's have a look in the ghost container. All the ghosts you've captured are held here. You can view a specimen of each ghost type and read the notes EGAD has compiled. Total mass 6,506 watts, I think that was. Double use, I think. Evershade Valley ghosts, yes please. The ghostly residents of Evershade Valley that you have captured. We have the Evershade, no, we have the Greenies. They like to tinker with things they shouldn't and wield everyday objects as weapons. First, find a way to disarm them, then stun them with your torch when the time is right. We've captured 99 of these, and the heaviest was 8 Ws. Okay, fair enough. What's next? The Slammers. They might look like ruthless brutes, but these ghosts usually have a heart of gold. Right now though, they are ruthless brutes, so watch out for shockwaves when they clap. This is also different then compared to the American version. The American version, they don't say how they are ruthless brutes and all that. We've captured 71 of them, and the heaviest was 27 Ws. Yeesh. Hiders. These clever fellows love playing hide and seek. A bit impatient though, so if you take too long to find them, they'll start throwing things at you. Stay on your toes. We captured 43 of them, and the heaviest was 9 Ws. What else we got? Sneakers. These ghosts are swift and cunning. They love to turn invisible and sneak up behind the targets of their pranks. So use the dark light device to catch them out. We've captured 44 of them, and the heaviest was 16 Ws. Also, I can zoom in on them, but it doesn't seem to make too much of a difference. Oh, no. And creepers. These gooey ghosts love to cuddle and hold you tight. But when the dark moon broke apart, they forgot about the cuddling part. Watch out for them above. For, watch out for them above and below. We've captured 28 of these guys, and the heaviest was 13 Ws. And over here, oh, we do have more, I'm surprised. Sister Melina, the youngest of the fabled three sisters, her hobby includes playing with her mirror and annoying her older sisters by pointing out their many flaws. We've captured only one, but it was 25 Ws. Sister Belinda, one of the fabled three sisters, according to her sister, her Linda, she's the eldest. She is an expert on flowers and plants and loves gardening. 50 Ws. And Sister Herlinda, one of the fabled three sisters, according to her sister Belinda, she's the eldest. Oh, I see. They <laughs> can't decide on who's the eldest. She thinks she's prettier than a flower and spends all her time looking at herself in the mirror. She is 75 Ws. Also, though, I believe Melinda has a different name. Melinda is sometimes Lucinda in the American version. Well, I say sometimes, always. Gobbers! Their appetite is formidable, and given that their stomachs have no physical boundaries, they just devour everything around them. Be wary of puddles of goo. We've captured only three of them, apparently. Huh. But, uh, yeah, 46W. And boffins. I hate this sound effect they do next. <laughs> anyway, these big-headed know-it-alls have swollen brains and egos They're, that forget them, that afford them to... I can't speak. That afford them telekinetic powers. Sadly, this seems to come at the cost of a sense of humor. <laughs> We've captured seven of these. Wow. Seven technical mini-bosses. Alright. And then there's even more. So there we go, they are just called strong greenies, not empowered greenies. Strong greenies. The, crystal of, the crystals of the mine have really changed these charming fellows. They're now much stronger and able to get up all, get up to all manners of shenanigans. Don't let them get equipped. Um, I can't really stop them, but sure. Strong slammers. Whoever put these bullies into crystals had only one thing in mind. Creating a ghost, or creating ghosts strong enough to crush rocks into dust with a single blow. Strong hiders. Now that these ghosts have gone under crystal augmentation, capturing them is a real nightmare. It's best to wait for an opening before trying to stun them. 12 captured. Not if I mentioned the other ones. We got 18 strong slammers and 84 strong greenies. Wow. Strong sneakers. These guys really mean trouble. Tougher and meaner than normal sneakers, and all those marks on their bodies bristle with power. 20 captured and 24 what Ws even is their heaviest weight. And strong gobbers. These massive disgusting ghosts can destroy a mansion as fast as you can say flying phlegm. Watch out when they release their goo, or capturing them will be a nightmare. We've captured six strong gobbers, that's where all the numbers came from, and the heaviest mass 
was 500 W's. What else is here? Oh yeah! The Grouchy Possessor with only one horn. This magnificent ghost possessed a spider queen in his efforts to hold his dark moon peace. Luigi really had to use his noggin to outsmart this spectre. He has his moments. The 50, 52 W's by the way. Harsh Possessor! This Possessor was hiding at the top of the giant tree in the Haunted Towers. He possessed a wooden staircase of all things, and then tried to eat Luigi. I thought the lad was going to faint. Again, 52 W's. The Overset Possessor! To protect the Dark Moon piece within him, he possessed the huge clock face at the top of the tower, and called on hordes of ghosts to help him out. A battle to remember! Ooh, and the clock, uh, the clock face spun just like this guy is suddenly spinning around. Don't get too sick. The Scornful Possessor, known as the Shrewd Possessor in the American version. Assuming the form of an uh, oh, assuming the form of an icy, a huge icy monster, this Possessor tunneled down through the mines in an effort to escape with his Dark Moon piece. Luigi was lucky to survive the ordeal. Again, they're all just 52 W. Tough Possessor. The Possessor managed to possess multiple suits of armor at the same time. An impressive feat. I was less impressed when he used those suits of armor to try to squish Luigi. Mm hmm. What else is there? Oh. Oh yeah, okay. The Boffin Elder. This ancient poltergeist was hiding one of the clock hands from the clock tower gate. Over the years, he has learned to control not just air, but sand as well. I only captured one, but it's 42 W's. Then we have Strong Boffins. As if there weren't enough trouble already, the crystals have augmented these brainy ghost telekinetic powers. Knowledge really is power, eh? 46 W's, and two of them captured. And we're not even finally done. Gold Greenies! These greedy greenies traded their slimy bodies for ones made of molten gold. Can't say I blame them. We captured 26 of these things, Jesus! And their worth, or their mass even, is 4W. And then, the final one. The Polter Pup, even though, yeah, it doesn't have an actual name. I haven't come up with a name for this mischievous and adorable Polter Pup yet. He's caused a whole mess of trouble, but I think the playful type just wants someone to take him in. Hmm. Well, I know exactly the man who would do the job anyway. Heaviest we weight, mass, same thing, not quite. 35 W's. And that is all of the ghosts in the ghost container in the vault. But we have other things in the vault. Also, you can see we've got 34,000 G and, and, and 10 G, sure. But let's see the gem collections. Look at all the unique gems you found throughout the mansions of Evershade Valley. Gloomy Manor gems. We have, whoops. Each amethyst is unique. Collect them all. We got them all. Each emerald is unique. Collect them all. We got all the emeralds. Each ruby is unique. Collect them all. It's just the same copied and pasted along, but there you go, sapphire is unique, diamond is unique. You're supposed to, I believe, get a statue or something for having them all. Maybe I'm thinking of something else.
Anyway, you have 34,010G. You've unlocked all upgrades. Congratulations. The A pool 2, Dark Light 2, A pool 3, Dark Light 3, and the Super Poltergust. Great! And the Boo Canister. This special container was especially designed to hold booze. For everyone's sake, try to capture every last one of them. Maybe it was every boo that gives you a statue. Either way, here is all 32 of 32. I guess the big boo counts as multiple boos, huh? Either way, this is... Why am I so shaky? This is all of them. I mean, I wish I saw them interact more instead of just being like... They're just stationary. Maybe wagging their tongues a bit, not their tails. But yeah, this is all the boos in the game. All boos have been captured. But no statue, so I don't really know. I guess it was just for your own sake. It was just completionist stuff. Also, is that supposed to be my money in the background? If so, interesting. But now, we're done with the only bonus video I have for this LP. Oh. Bit of a shame King Boo doesn't arrive in the place, but I guess they didn't want to do that because they forgot to. Or maybe they chose to do that so that you could play him anytime? I don't know. I mean, we sucked him up, but we didn't, we didn't do anything else. So I don't know. Anyway, on that note, I'm gonna win it off here. After you also, after you complete a mission, after you complete the final nightmare one, you then get taken on to the King Boo's Illusion, but it's shown as a separate thing in case you want to play that separately without the whole night fight. So there you go. Anyway, on that note, I should finally end it off here. My name's been Daz, you didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.